Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in here. Um, <clears throat> making another Dota 2 video, of course. And I'm going to show you guys how to be a pro Rubik. Because Rubik is... He's an... He's definitely an underdog um, as far as heroes go, but if you know how to use him, he can be very deadly. Um, some people say he can be played as a carry. I don't really think so. Um, <clears throat> but uh, there's two essential items you need. You have ten seconds left. I'm not going to talk when that dude talks. <laughs> it annoys me. You have five seconds left. <laughs> and he keeps talking. Anyway, um, okay, so what we're going to do... You're going to start out with Fade Bolt. Damage, definitely. Um, let's go ahead and buy our Courier so people don't get their butt hurt. And we're going to start with Boots. Are you ready? I just start out with Boots. It's not a big deal. Um, <clears throat> works very fine for me. Hopefully I'm not catching a lot of lag here. A little bit. A little, little lag. So hopefully it doesn't affect my game much. I see. Okay, um, but when I render it and record it, it doesn't look like I'm lagging, but... Okay, um, two essential items you need. Phase boots, four staff. Let me go ahead and show you guys here. Um, I don't go for arcane boots. It's not necessary. Um, phase boots and four staff. Especially if you steal Bloodseeker. Um, so he is on the opposite team. So hopefully I get, uh, I get to show you guys how that works. Um, once you get those two, you can either go one of two ways. You can go full support, which then you can get mech. Uh, 30 seconds to battle. After you get mech, you know, you make go Pipe of Insight if you need it. Uh, here, you don't really need it. Maybe for Razor, not much. Um, but really, mech would be good. Um, Phantom Assassin is going to be um, pretty hard to contain. Uh, so, you have your items there. I, I just told you, Face Boots, Force Staff, and either mech. Rate of Rod of Eidos is really good to get as well. But... The battle so, begins. the way I build my Rubik is I go Fade Bolt, Levitate, oh, Fade Bolt, Levi I call it Levitate, be. Telekinesis, Fade Bolt, Tele, Fade Bolt, Tele, um, No Field, Spell Steal, Fade Bolt, Tele, one into here, and then uh, I put two into No Field, and then I max these out. And then the rest in No Field. I level No Field last. <clears throat> but now I'm going to tell you the pro way of rubing music Ru rubing music <laughs> of using rubik okay man say that say that really fast and i have a feeling i'm gonna get uh, abused by the damn phantom assassin here um axes cut in the lane i hope i don't get fucked here okay now back to what i was saying the way to play a pro rubik is to combine his skills together. Basically, what you want you want to initiate with a levitate, lifts them up, fade bolt them while they're in the air. You have to do this very quickly, or you're gonna completely mess it up. You get a telekinesis, fade bolt, and whatever ulti you have or you spell still, use it to your advantage. Whether it's rupture. So what I would do is I telekinesis, fade bolt, rupture, four staff. And that would be a pro Rubik combo. Um, hopefully, I get a few of them off. Rubik, <clears throat> don't concentrate. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm very sick. If you can't tell, Rubik, he's not he's not made to get still uh, made to get kills. And I can't talk. What he is, he's he's made to be a disabler and just nuke the shit out of the opponent in team fights. Um, I knew that was coming. Tinker's OP at early stages. But. <clears throat> and this. I'm not sure. Hopefully, this won't be too bad of a game. Uh, one hit. Ah. Oh, we got the kill. Okay, so. You just saw. Basically, and there's nothing I can do. I'm out of mana, so, so I don't want to die because I'm more squishier than he is. So basically what you just saw there, I helped Axe get a kill. You telekinesis, it helps your um, ally get a kill. 
I see. So that's basically what you want to do as Rubik in the beginning. You want to uh, telekinesis, fade bolt them. That way, when they land, they don't do enough damage. Because what uh, fade bolt does is it uh, does hero damage reduction. Um, at max level, it reduces their damage by 32, which is pretty essential. Not in game. I mean, if you got a dude rocking a divine rapier, of course, 32 damage isn't going to do nothing. But you know, if you guys are pretty well fed. To, yeah, for each other. This guy's concentrating on ganks. I don't know why. Get that last hit there. Um, but anyway, don't worry about getting last hits either I with Rubik. Understand. It's uh, don't worry about it. Uh, some people say auto attacking is noob. I don't really care. Um, all I all I do is try to dwindle their life down so that the carry can get the last hit. That's all I try to do. It's got some major slow over here, definitely. See, now their damage is absolutely not a damn thing. Axe keeps cutting the lane. He's basically making me solo lane. <coughs> I, I don't like that. I don't like solo laning with Rubik, and it, ha it happens to me quite often, too. You know, uh, somebody picks Nature's Prophet. You know, this is the first time I've seen an Axe cut a lane like that, which is really awkward. Um, one in the telly. Okay, yeah. so we've got both skills leveled twice, two and two. Um, and by the way, <clears throat> this is maybe my eighth, ninth, tenth time playing Rubik. Um, so I, when I play a character, I I get to know them very well. Let's go ahead and stop his uh, clarity. Shit, I think I'm dead actually. Oh, look at that oh, slow. Curious. I'm so so. <coughs> okay, well, I got completely trashed there. Hey, Axe, I'd appreciate your help laning, buddy. Stop cutting the lane. You're doing me no good. Okay, I just had to tell that guy that because he's really pissing me off here. Okay, anyway. Um, I'm coming, friends. Wait for me. And by the way, guys, uh, just so you know, hold Alt and click on the picture. That way I know who's exactly missing. I, I, Because when you say Bobbin's missing, yeah, that's all great now, but I don't know what hero it is, so I don't know what to be prepared for. So if you could please hold Alt and click the picture at the top, that'd be great. Thanks. Um, anyway, if Phantom Assassin gets fed, which I don't think she is going to get fed. Who killed me? Tinker killed me. Okay. Not a problem, dude. Always here for help. Um... <clears throat> there's a there's a pro tip for you. Alt, click on the picture, check it out. Do 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 do. Which Phantom Assassin is really missing? As it pleases me. Thank you very much for that. Definitely appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, pro tips all the way. I almost feel bad. Okay, so now we got our face boots, which is good. We're five minutes, six minutes in. Six minutes boots are good. Um, I just gotta get my courier to come help me out. Um, trying to think what else I can tell you while you guys are watching this creep, boring ass creep farm. Absolutely. See, Axe didn't turn around and get that last hit, so I just took it. And hopefully we don't have to pause, because I really don't want to pause while I'm recording. Oh my god! Anyway, so let's let's go back and review what we've covered so far. Um, phase boots, four staff are core items. Definitely can't play a Rubik without them. Um, I go phase boots. <coughs> excuse me. I go phase boots over arcane. Um, just do the fact escape. With Rubik, escape is everything. Um, positioning, um, agility. I say agility, not like the stat agility, but movement speed. There you go. Movement speed is everything on uh, on Rubik. So there we go. Game on. <coughs> this is going to be my thing. Every time every time I end a video, I'm going to be like, game on. Or, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to say. Game on. It's going to be my thing. Nobody's going to be able to take that. It's going to be Elite Gamers Academy thing. Game on. So whenever I make my t-shirts and stuff, they're going to say game on on the back of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't fade bolt him because I just didn't want to waste the mana because I didn't know what Axe was going to do. But normally, telekinesis, fade bolt, throw him down, 
which depending on depending on the uh one second uh invoker go cold snap cold snap um summons cold snap summons anyway um interesting <coughs> Okay, depending on the situation, whether or not you guys are winning the team fight or winning the lane, winning the 1v1, whatever you guys want to do, depends on where you throw him. Um, if you guys have the upper hand, you want to bring him back to you guys. Um, if you guys are losing and the opponent is doing a lot of damage, throw him away from you. Your bottom tower is under attack. A flame is a light at its base. Alchemist, you should actually be in the jungle a little bit, jungling. Um, you need a lot of farm. Your middle tower is under attack. It may not be able to defend itself. And yeah, sometimes I do, um, I do coach, I do coach p players um, along the way. Um, I do it nicely. Um, if the person wants to listen to me, they'll listen to me. If they don't, they just want to be a complete dick and tell me to fuck off. That's cool. We're gonna lose. Um, uh, what level are you? Hold on. Uh, let's give this guy some pro tips. Well, since you're 0-3, level 4, you're missing out on some XP. So go ahead and get in the jungle. Ah, that tower got it before I did. Um, who are you laning with? Invoker? Invoker? Uh, tower hug. While Alchemist is jungling, you need a tower hug. Your middle tower cries out. Radiant structures Gyro. are fortified. Gyro's mid. Gyro should be able to hold his own. Ugh, that hurts so much on that Tinker. Hurts so much. He is squishy, though. That is one good thing. He is squishy. Axe, we need mana, buddy. So what's the game plan? We got to try lane up here. We got Gyro... Uh, not Gyro. We've got Razor, Tinker, Phantom. Actually, there's four of them up here, I think. Excellent idea. God, that hurts so much. Indeed. That hurts me so much. Don't dive. Don't dive. Good. I'm having to go back to town because that Tinker is, he's, he'll basically four-shot me with his missiles. Um, early game, I don't really use teleports. You're supposed to teleport. You know, that is the pro thing to do is to teleport. But right now, we're not in any need to waste gold to teleport. Um, they're not taking a tower. You know, my teammates aren't in trouble. So um, I'm trying to think what else I haven't covered yet. That you guys need to know. <coughs> Your middle um, tower is under attack. Um, once you spell still, always spell still. It's it's worth it. Such always spell still. Um, no matter what it is, um, a skill is better than no skill. So, and I just I just started doing that. Maybe a couple games ago, to where I just constantly spell still. Normally, I used to wait to get a uh, spell, but. Um, constantly still. Oh, I didn't know Tinker was right there either. What is this? Shadow, sh shadow wave? And there he goes. Look at that. 200 and fucking 30 damage. That's nuts, man. That shit is so OP. It's retarded. What is this? What does this do? Damage, radius, physical allied units. Okay. The healing move. I don't play Dazzle much, so I had to read that for a quick second. I see. So that's good. Now I'm a healer now. So rock on. Absolutely. And of course that'll move them back. Come to act. Huh. Ooh, I'm catching a lot of lag spikes. Okay, so there's our staff of wizardry. We definitely need this. It'll bump our damage up. And as you can see, I'm a... I'm a Kuroki set fan. I love this set. It's so great. It's so sexy too. <coughs> Got it. Staff of Wizardry. Eat that. I 
Okay, hopefully... Boom. Okay, hopefully you guys saw that. Um, how I levitated him, hit him with Fade Bolt, and then threw him into the Phantom Assassin. Um, I thought he was actually going to go after Dazzle. Um, Dazzle would have been the easier target. But I, I don't I don't know what he was trying to do. Go for Dazzle. Dazzle's the easier target, Axe. Um, I'm 0-1, 0 assists. 12 minutes in. This is going to be a really slow game, guys. Um... I want to say you're going to see a lot of action towards mid in, but I'm, I don't know how these guys play. Man, this is this is so bad. Get some. Get some. Okay, I'm I'm all out of mana, dude. Get out of there. Get out of there. I was out of mana. I couldn't do nothing. We're gonna get that ring. I got the demon dogs in the back. Tower is under attack. It may not be able to defend itself. Absolutely. You guys have to push that bot um, harder. Gyro, gyro, and invoker switch lanes. Invoker go uh, mid. Gyro go bot. Try me now. This will be fun. Cause you guys, I you guys mean, are having trouble push. Invoker's a mid hero, pretty indeed. much. He's not. He doesn't do much um, lane. Shit. Absolutely. Okay, so they're they're scared to push towers, obviously, because they're not even they're not even coming close to this tower. So. <coughs> You also have to watch how the enemy plays. Um, if they play aggressively, then you might have to play aggressive with aggressive. Um, if they play too aggressively, just chill near the tower. And if they play really defensively, it means they won't chase you into the uh, tower. Shit. Uh, yeah, I, there's nothing I could have done right there. Um, I got ruptured. Um, Phantom Assassin was on me. And Dazzle is doing his thing as well. So, oh, and two now. So, this axe is just, I don't know what this axe is doing. You should have culling bladed the Bloodseeker. Why didn't you culling blade the Bloodseeker? Did you have a plan? <laughs> yeah. Listen, bro, I'm pro, okay? You want to lane with me? Cooling blade, all right? What's over there? Okay, let's see here. Battle hunger, the Phantom it Assassin. <laughs> now, you see how I did that? <clears throat> there you go. Yes. Yeah, buddy. That's what's up. Good shit. Indeed. Hey. Axe, get on this dazzle, please. I can slow him down. Oh, he shallow graved. Culling blade. Culling blade, please. Culling blade. Goodness gracious, what are you doing? I. I don't know why this this person's not. Oh my god! Oh my god! I gotta run. Oh, that razor was so close to dying too. I should have been there. That was my mistake. I I didn't know that the axe was gonna take that much life away from him. But you take you take chances when you dive. Um, this is not good. But I'm o two and two. That's not bad. Um, a bit more power. when you dive uh, into a jungle, serious. when you can't see anything, you Can take chances. Um, gyrocopter. Was that a rage quit or did he Such disconnect? But although we're losing, I'm still giving you pro tips on how to play a pro. The tower is under attack. 
I almost feel bad. All right, don't worry about it, man. We'll just finish it out. Be, we're, we'll be good sportsmanship and just finish it out. They require time. So, <clears throat> regardless, you can only play in Dota. This is the thing people have to understand. You can only play as good as your team is. Um, if you're super good, you can't. You can't carry the team. Um, stop talking, Nature's Prophet. My God, annoying ass. Um, if, if you're a support, you know, people are going to be like, oh, you're so bad. Look at your KDA. KDA doesn't mean anything when you're support. It, it all matters on teamwork. That's it. Teamwork. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. That's it. I got to start denying a little more. Okay, I'm 150 away. My shadow. Oh, that was almost. Oh, we got him. Nice. That was awesome. He's actually really good with that sun strike, actually. Axe, where are you going? Tower is under attack. Excellent idea. Uh <coughs> God, I'm so sorry guys, I keep coughing. Alchemist, when you get your ulti, just hit your ulti, it'll heal you. You need your ulti. The enemy's top tower. Exploded. Okay, now we got four staff. Tower shakes so with now fear. we're gonna come here. The demon dogs in the back. Now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to steal Bloodseeker's ulti and show you Your guys tower cries out. how really pros do it. Okay, where's uh, Bloodseeker at? Alchemist, I'm coming bottom with you, dude. You're having lots and lots your of trouble. Tower is under attack. I'm not sure if you've shined your helmet your yet or or what, fallen. but Timber. on the next game, make sure you shine your helmet, dude. All right? <laughs> I'm being a complete ass. I know. I'm just fucking with him, no guys. I'm I'm really not fucking. Oh my god. Yeah, um, playing alchemist isn't a smart idea if you've never played him before in a public match. Your middle tower is under attack. I'm gonna go on mute for a second, guys. I'll be right back. Your middle tower cries out. Sorry guys, had to yell at the dogs. <laughs> Cause I'm not listening to that. And I'm not having you guys listen Your to it tower is under attack. Okay, so they listen real well, don't they? Idiots. I'm gonna try to talk over them, and hopefully you guys don't get too annoyed and Your turn this video off, because I definitely want you guys to watch the this. Tree may fall. Um, one second. I'm gonna go on mute one more time. Okay, there we go. That might have done it. Your top tower anyway. Has fallen. Tis now nothing but mere okay, so rocks. they're taking our shit super hard now. But we got... We got one of the, uh, it's it's two and two. So, Alk, let's keep pushing. Come on. But, yeah, dude. Um, Alchemist is a hard carry. Um, you should do some research before picking a hero in a public match. Definitely. Okay, here we go. Pro tip. Pro tip right here. Boom. Boom. Oh, I don't have any mana. That was not a pro tip. <laughs> that was not a pro tip. I thought I had enough mana to cast it all. Okay, it's all good though. Oh man, he is chasing my ass hard. Yes. Look at him, fucking try hard. Hey, get out of here, punk. Can't catch me. Phase boots. That's where that comes in handy. People are like, oh, you need arcane boots. If you had arcane boots, you might have not have gotten away from him. So remember, with Rubik, it's all about survivability. And it's got a little bit of damage on it, too. Um, what is it? 20, 20, 20, 20, 24 damage. That's what I was going to say. But uh, I wanted to be precise so people wouldn't yell at me and be like, 24 damage. Okay. So since everybody's getting the shit kicked out of them, and we're not really going for uh, help or anything like that. Like, my team can't even survive in a team fight. They're just, they're just flopping like fish. We're going to go for the Dagon, um, so we can um, actually, instead of a four-hit combo, we're going to go for a five. So, let's try to get this going up here. I'm going to hit I'm gonna hit Dazzle real hard. Now, I can't say that it'll work, 
but we're about to hit him super hard. All right. Absolutely. Oh, of course. Ah, oh, get off of me. Assholes. I was under orders. Your top tower is crumbling. I'm having to run around. So I just tried to show you guys some pro tips. Some pro moves. And I don't want to waste mana using Fade Bolt. Yes. I'm just trying to... That's That way it doesn't happen. Let me go ahead and get my wizardry staff. That'll yes. help me out a little bit with mana. Um, yeah, each point gives mana. Okay. As it pleases me. Wicked sick. Blood Seeker killed Alchemist again. Okay, Alchemist is feeding. There's no possible way we can come back and win this. Um, yeah. It's just a, um, positioning, guys. Positioning is everything. Don't go by yourself. Especially if you're Alchemist for the first time. Stay with the group. Okay, we're about to fuck this guy up. Boom! Pro Rubik right there, baby. Yeah! That is how you play Rubik, people, okay? That right there, you guys. Plus, when you uh, get a Dagon, you can Telekinesis, Fade Bolt, Dagon, Ulti. Your bottom tower is under attack. Guys, get the gist of it. Um, <clears throat> also, if um, now, if the enemy um, is wailing on one of your teammates, um, you can use Force Staff to push them out of the way. That way your teammate can get away. Um, I've done that a few times. Let's go, team fight, positioning in the mid. Cold snap, cold snap, cold snap, cold snap. Cold snap that blood seeker. Okay, here we go. Pro tip. There it is. I didn't get my four staff off because I had used it already, but it's okay. <coughs> So, but that was that was a pretty good run. Um, let's see here. We're gonna get this. Um, we're pretty close to Dagon, which is gonna. Uh, he's getting his little troopers out. His little robot troopers, so cute. Okay, so now we've got um, level two spell still. We've got. Ooh, what does that do? Armor modified. Okay, so we've got 12 seconds on rupture, but I think I'm only going to be able to levitate and rupture and force push. So, I'm not going to be able to pull the fade bolts off, but I will be able to pull a telekinesis. Yo, stop stop tower diving, Axe. Get on the tower. Get off the kills. That kill death is not the point of the game. The point of the game is to push the towers. Yes? Let's do it. <clears throat> okay, so come down here, Axe. Come towards your teammates. Don't go away from your teammates. <sighs> People. Yes. Get her, Invoker. Get her. Done about. Pro Rubik, baby. Yes. Pro Rubik. Alchemist, you have to farm, dude. Farm, 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 farm. You need to be in the jungle about 85% of the game. You need about 20,000 net worth for him to be any good. The enemy's middle tower has been denied. They snicker at your loss. You need to hit your ulti. Your ulti replenishes your life. Okay, so we got Dagon now. So now we're going to be able to make our own little combo out of Dagon, regardless if we have an ulti or not. Um, they can kind of be a substitute for an ulti if you don't have a spell still. <clears throat> he's got Shadow Blade. Yeah. He's building it right. <clears throat> he's building his alk pretty good, but I, I don't know. I don't know how he's jungling, so I can't I couldn't tell him what he's doing wrong. And then I don't I don't play Alchemist. So yes. Alright, we ready to kill um Electric Face? 
Oh man, my my spell still's gone. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah, it's gone. All right, I don't have rupture anymore. It's gone. That sucks. That makes me sad. Um, places like there, there, like where people normally gank. Um, is good. A little old razor down here. Where did he go? Your top tower is under attack. As it pleases me. The Radiant have called upon their defenses. Oh, he is. Your top tower is under attack. Even the mightiest tree may fall. Yeah, nice try, buddy. I'm looking forward to this. Spell steal. I understand. Alright. So obviously my team's not playing too well. Um the dogs in the background are annoying still. Uh yes. But if my team was playing a little bit better, I could show you guys a much better Rubik. But for the way my team is playing right now, <coughs> um, I'm actually doing really well. Um, but other than that, man, I, I can't really tell you guys anything. It just you guys have to play um, according to how your team plays. Like I was saying, if you don't have a good team, you're you can only play as good as your team, which is why you know the pro teams like Navi. Alliance, DK, EG, they all they all play together constantly. They all know each other. They all know how they're set up. Um, positioning is everything. Um, especially with Rubik, um, position uh, very well. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put myself on mute really quick. So I will be right back. Such fascinating energies. What's over there? As it pleases me. Absolutely. Okay, I am back. <laughs> All right, so here we go. That was a good play. Next. Well, let me try that. He yet. sped off. I couldn't. I couldn't get it in time. I probably would have killed Tinker if I could have gotten it, but I. I couldn't get it off in time. He, was, he bounced out pretty quick. Yes. Ah, he just keeps running. That's all he's doing is running. I can't do anything. Our lanes, um, we need to watch a bot. Our top's doing pretty decent. Indeed. With pleasure. What's over there? I'm not sure what everybody else is doing. Dire structures are fortified. Ah, of course, that's what they're gonna do. <clears throat> Apply yourself. 
curious. I don't know why he's going for me. As it pleases me. Well, I guess I could know why he's going for me. There it is. Pro Rubik skills right there. Okay, so we're going to go back to base. We need mana. Um, I need to get my Dagon. Everybody's just using the courier. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come to me. Come to me. What's no, there you go. I didn't know. I forgot you totally had Shadow Blade. I'm sitting here looking at your slots and your top tower is crumbling. My mind's blown. Absolutely. All right, so we got an updated Dagon. Your top tower is under attack. It is at 500 HP now. We're going to. Yes. We're gonna go take care of this tower here. Your top tower We're gonna go ahead and fortify it. Because they're not any structures are fortified. They're not close. The stream tells of tactics. To uh getting anywhere else to our I third understand. tier. Normally I don't fortify unless it's like tier three. I'm gonna go ahead and push this lane a little bit. I didn't even get mana. But get rid of this creep wave quickly. There we go. Okay, so I'll help the creeps out a lot. Interesting. I see. <coughs> Gyrocopter rage quit, so we're... Uh, oh, they actually had a rage quitter too. Who'd they have quit? Oh, Bloodseeker. That's why I haven't been still in rupture. That's why. Okay. So, Indeed. so we might come back and actually win this. We're uh, we're not too far back. We, mm, yeah, we both have our T twos. So, get out of my way, creeps. Interesting. I agree. Alchemist, go for uh, Desolator and Mjolnir. Okay, watch this. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Pro Rubik, baby. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Just got burnt. I understand. Ah, uh, of course. I hope it's clear which of us. That's what I said. I said Desolator or Mjolnir. Good job. Okay, so you guys have seen me do a few combos. Um, there, we obviously win. Uh, let's see my four, four, and five. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> I could be playing better if my team. Um, the actually, middle tower has fallen. It has returned to second. what it once was. Um, if my team had actually started playing like this in the beginning, but um, it took them a little coaching and a little while to catch That's on to what was going on. Um, why would you go for assault, curious nut? Um, what was I thinking? Uh, I can't think of what I was thinking he should go for. Uh... The enemy's I don't know. middle tower is now nothing I'm to think but what rubble. he should have went for. Uh, heart, I think, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't go for heart instead. Yeah, assault curious. Let's see here. Assault curious is 52. The enemy's middle barracks have fallen. He should have just got heart instead. The enemy's middle so basically, to oblivion. basically, Axe is, is fed. Um, Invoker, Invoker's doing pretty well himself. And uh, I just walked right into a creep wave. Come Sweet. But Axe got my back. Bet you're glad to see me again. Yes. Good game, guys. Uh, seems to be everybody disconnected. Um, Rubik for the win.
that's it guys everybody disconnected uh let me know what you guys think um hopefully you guys enjoyed the pro rubik tips and everything else i got you guys um and like i said you don't have to go i'm gonna die you don't have to go dagon you can go mech mechanism um you are uh, you even saw some wards. You can place wards here, here. I see. Um, but that's Their about it, guys. Be raised in honor of the so go grab your Rubik and see what you can do with him. Yes. Uh, ask. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll be glad to answer them. Comment. Make sure you share this video. And game on. My drive for blood.